Hello, I'm back going to do the chicken for my stir fry. So, I'm going to throw in some oil. I, as I said earlier, I don't have my wok easily accessible, so a big old frying pan will work. So my Mongolian oil, uh, you know what, there's like two drops left. Let me just dump it. Aww. Great stuff. Mongolian fire oil. I'm not a spokesperson for it, but I know when it was on sale last time, I bought six of them. So, I'm going to turn my pan on. I'm going to put it on high. I'm going to make sure it covers because I'm going to cook my chicken first. There's my chicken that's been sitting in the cornstarch, baking soda, soy sauce mix. I'm going to let that get really nice and hot because we're going to do a quick fry on the chicken. And we're going to throw it in a pot just like I did with uh, the veggies for the stir fry. Okay, I can feel it's getting hot. So quite sticky because of the cornstarch and everything. So I'm just going to toss that in there. It's a lot of chicken. These were big chicken breasts. Right. I'm just getting spaced apart because it's going to heat up and get really hot. I might need to add a little bit more oil. This is a taboo to do it that way, but that's just me. I beat my drum differently than anybody else. Okay. So while that's cooking, heating up to cook, I'm going to pause and I'll be right back. Okay, you can hear it starting to sizzle up. You know, obviously you want to make sure it's fully cooked. And get my Maggie. Okay, I love that Maggie sauce stuff. Seasoning sauce. Okay. So I just want to make sure some pieces that are maybe stuck together get separated and cooked. I don't need salmonella on top of the cornholio virus. Not that I have the cornholio virus, but I don't need the risk of that. So while that's cooking for a minute, I'm going to start turning it over. See this little spatula doohickey? I really like this. Hubby got this for me on our first anniversary when he bought me the Calphalon. And I think he grabbed it because it said Calphalon on it. And it, it's one of my favorite kitchen cooking utensils. Because if you don't want to turn everything at once, you can turn just a little bit. And you're going to keep doing this until the chicken is cooked and no longer poop. Okay, it's cooking pretty good. It's almost all cooked. Now is when I'm going to use my cheat, my ginger. Take a cube, toss that bad boy in there. I'm going to toss in the carrots. I'm going to toss in my coarse chopped onion. Stir that up a little bit. I'm 
When I initially defrosted the chicken, I thought about making just chicken fried rice, but I remembered I had these vegetables that needed to be used. So I'm doing stir fry. And as you all know, if you've been watching, I'm not an onion fan, but hubby is. I wonder if I need a little bit more onion in there. Oh well, I'm not going to chop anymore. I know I'm not a huge onion fan, as you know, and Ron, who is our good friend and back neighbor, he's with us a lot, isn't an onion fan either. So, we'll just leave this amount of onion. Ooh, that smells good. Next, I'm going to pop in my broccoli. And then my red, yellow, and orange peppers. That looks pretty. Oh, that smells so good. It looks good, but wow. And you can toss in some more soy sauce if you'd like. You can toss in some more of the Maggie seasoning sauce. But you might want to just, and I put it here on the edges because it can absorb into something and change the color and it would look disproportionate in color from everything else. I don't want a lot because I want the fresh flavors of the peppers, the carrots, the broccoli, the ginger, even though it was frozen. I want to taste those different layers of flavor. And I want to cover it up with the soy. So, there you have it. Stir fry!